RMBers, we got another good video for you today. Starting off 2021 with, uh, how about just a random video of random stuff? Stay tuned. So I just want to show off these beautiful scaleless snakes that we, uh, these are actually sold, waiting for the weather to clear up. Uh, to get to their new homes, but we got a pastel scaleless mm. female here. Let's look at the other one. <laughs> oh, pastel scaleless. Pastel scaleless female, and here is a bro lemon blast scaleless, and they just feel so cool. They're super soft. They're like velvet, like velvety smooth. Mm -hmm. They uh, have some tricks to uh, get them to shed, right? You have to make sure you're on top of uh, watching if they go in the shed. And they do shed more than other snakes. Like they'll shed three times a month. But once you figure that out, you just keep them super dry. Give them a little bit of humidity once they start to have their nose uh, skin come out, coming off and uh, you're good to go. Yeah. We tried them on different substrates and things like that. It ends up like keeping them on paper towel seems to work pretty well. Yep, dry paper towel. So like I said, those are, are sold and going to their new homes. But if you're interested, we do have this pastel scale head female. That's got good size now. If you want to get involved with the project, she's available. Mm -hmm. I can't even believe that she's still available actually. <laughs> but she is. Another one we wanted to show off that I, I'm really surprised that she's for sale. I'm telling you, man, the Hidden Jumoma stuff is uh, people just a little confused. Call us. We'll explain it. <laughs> this is an Enchi Lori Hidden Jumoma female. I believe probably the only one in the world. Probably. Friggin' phenomenal looking. Look at those peach flames that come up in between. Really tight banding. Um, we're still trying to figure out if Enchi and Lori are allelic. Um, we had some interesting results this year, and we're going to have to keep chugging along to see if we can prove uh, what's going on here. But A lot of people said, yes, it is, definitely. And we said, yeah, we think so, too. And then we had a couple results that were like, uh, well, maybe not. Yeah, you can look back to our... Uh, what was the... What was it pastel lori no what do we do it was a banana enchi lori to the enchi highway mm -hmm. we ended up hitting some that weren't enchi or lori and that's not supposed to be possible so but anyway this girl is available and a lot of people are asking do we have any lori stuff available especially females we do have this one and uh, it's not going to be a cheap snake but it's an awesome snake with good size so mm -hmm. if you're interested in something unique, probably no other ones exist on the planet except for this one, <laughs> get in touch with us. Very true. The only reason we're letting her go is because if we have a bunch more that we're holding back, we are holding back like 80 some snakes this year. We should probably- Ben's uh, only letting me hold back 80 snakes this year. <laughs> Jerk. And along the same lines, we also have this Pastel Lori Soul Sucker, which is this one is butter and hidden gene woma. So pastel Lori butter hidden gene woma. So this is the only male Lori we have available. I'm pretty sure. Actually, I think we have a banana, a male banana Lori, still. But these cool white highlights around the alien heads look at this crazy wacky connected tail pattern tail pattern and even in the body there it's like beautiful yeah. animal very cool if you want to get into the lorry project i mean it's a heavy hitter for sure so here's an update on the sneak that we got from justin jkr this is our Super Mojave, I believe pastel. It was possible pastel, possible calico, possible visual monsoon. 
if it's not a visual monsoon, it is 100% het monsoon. And he shed uh, like three times with us now, three, four times, I'm pretty sure. Just shed again. And uh, hoping to figure out soon what his genetics actually are. We really are excited to produce some monsoon stuff. Mm -hmm. And we have a few possible het monsoons and that aren't going to be ready anytime, <laughs> but super pretty. With every shed that comes in, you should see more pigment develop. Now, you're not going to see a lot of pigment. Especially if it's calico, this, it's going to be ridiculous. But I'm hoping that six months of sheds go by, we might be able to blacklight a better answer as to mm -hmm. what's hiding underneath here. Absolutely. But super excited about this guy. Super excited. Mm -hmm. are, super, are you super excited about so this girl we picked up from a friend was not that great of an eater at first and she's hopefully starting to eat now a bit better um, but this is just a red stripe het clown red stripe 100 percent het clown female she's beautiful she did just eat so we're not going to get crazy with her but um red stripes they have a little bit more of a blushing on the head there they have a coppery rusty type color you can kind of see the stripe on this one a little bit better than what normal red stripes are. I don't know if that's the head clown influence or not, but um, you also see these alien heads without the dots in them, kind of all looking the same. Sort of melty looking sides. Yeah, melty looking sides. Um, beautiful snake though. And uh, we just can't wait for her to be eating very, very well and uh, getting some size on her. So we'll keep you guys updated on this one. This is our leopard cypress female that is getting some size on her. Um, still small, just ate yesterday, but look at this crazy pattern. And I'm gonna lift her up a little bit without getting too crazy because she ate, but look at that crazy dirty belly. Awesome. What a beautiful snake. It's super dark, has this crazy pattern with this coppery, uh, all the patterns, coppery. I mean, just super cool has these uh, white spots coming up the sides a little bit. Um, if I can do that without getting too crazy with her. Man, talk about a good leopard looking combo. This is one for the books for sure. Simple, you know, two Kodams. Can't wait to get uh, her into the rotation and doing some cool stuff. Maybe Arroyo, maybe Arroyo Clown stuff. That'd be him. Yeah, him. I think so. So I just was talking to a friend of mine who asked about this snake. This is the snake from Billy at, over at Mutation Creation. And uh, she was shipped to us. Finally, when we went over there in January, we, we uh, bought her with the what did we buy thing that we were doing. And this is a pastel freeway female. And she's just beautiful. And seriously, pictures and cameras do not do these snakes justice. But this is just an awesome looking snake. Look how bright she is. You get this uh, dotting here that almost looks like a highway or freeway uh, striping. It's very dirty on the sides here, which is cool from the pastel. So what makes this girl different than a highway is freeways are asphalt and yellow belly instead of gravel and yellow belly. Gravel and yellow belly is the highway and asphalt, or in Canada they say asphalt. Um, <laughs> so that's the difference with yellow belly. So beautiful snake. And we have a bunch of gravel, uh, things going on this year. Um, trying to, I think we're going to try to make super gravels this upcoming season. And, uh, man, what a beautiful snake. So that was your random video. Look at that head pattern. <laughs> woo woo. That's stripe. Ooh, ooh. So that was your random video, first video really of 2021. Um, thank you guys so much for joining us. Make sure you guys hit that like button, pound that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. Make sure you guys are watching Harp House Rock. Also, enjoy your animals. This is the year. We're all going to get back to normal hopefully this year. 2021, here we go. Thank you guys. We'll see you on the next one. Any of y'all good at thumbnails?
DM me. <laughs> Random. Random. This one's gonna try to hem me up. So this is a light, uh, blah, 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 blah. Be a royal, maybe a royal clown stuff. That'll be him. Man. Yep. I think so. I'm down to clown. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs>